Now, Luna. No, let's not do that. Hello, guys. I am setting up for the Dufle. I'm going to set you guys up here on my iPad so I can see comments. Luna, baby, be careful. Hold on. Let me... Turning this down, and I'm getting her away from my chair, because she will. Hey, 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 over here. This way, babies. Go that way. Come on, over here. Come. Over here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, so I am in a new spot right now for today because I have got so much um, going on right now. So I had to change it up a little bit. Hey, don't do that. Um, so we are making the do fly, and this is the do fly. <laughs> She's playing with my chair and it's going down. Um, this is what we're making. I messed up and I put the things here and. Um, yeah, they're not supposed to be there. This is only supposed to be for the rolled handle, and I didn't know that at the time. Hi, Lynette. So I was like, okay, let's redo this over again according to the pattern direction, and maybe add a little something extra in there. So whew, it's been an afternoon already. All right, so um, I'm going to wind my bobbin. I'm using my Janome Travelmate 30. It's a domestic sewing machine. It's computerized. Um, and that's the one I'm going to be using today. So let's get started. I was thinking I was going to do the interior being this Star Wars fabric that I had been hoarding for a little while. I think, I think it would be very cute. Since May the 4th is coming just around the corner. Like before we even know it. Good girl. Now she's by my feet. <laughs> okay. You do that. I am using a thicker thread than normal. I'm using a text 60, I think it is. 45, something like that. Um it's a, it's one that I started using before I got Kasaya's thread, so um, I still gotta use up what I have, you know. No nope, boy. I don't know about y'all, got you guys, but I am burning up right now. Luna, baby, you can't step on the pedal, honey. No, sweetheart. No, baby. Luna. We can't do that, baby. No. Nope. All right, I'm gonna change my needle. And I'm changing it to a non-stick needle. And, oh, there it is, it's in, uh, let me reach, okay. It's an Oregon anti-glue needle and I'm doing the size um, 116. She keep doing it. Luna, stop, baby. Thank you. All right, so let's go cut that up there. Switch that. Make sure it's nice and tight. Boom. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to cut it out and show you guys what I do. Hi, BJ. Um, what I do, let's get this started. Luna, sweetheart, you can't chew on the chair. You gotta find something else to chew on, sweetheart, like your toys. If y'all been here before, you know she has got like endless toys. 
and she's putting me down. Luna, baby, no, go this way, baby. Uh -uh. Go that way. Go that way. Oh, Luna, you just made me bet my needle, sweetheart. Oh, no, Luna. No, ma'am. No, go that way. Go that way. No, ma'am. Come on. Nope. Come. No, you're going to get stuck that way. This way, baby. This way. Come on. Sit. Sit. Play with your toys here. Stay. Okay. All right, let's see if I can get this thing going now. So I guess I'm using my 14 needle because my 16 just got bent. Luna, baby, please sit. Yeah, I know I'm right here, honey. It's okay. I'm not going anywhere. She had a long nap before she got here. So I think she's probably just a little bit like antsy. I also had a long nap before we came. <laughs> oh. She's now licking my feet. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Machine is set up. Just like that. Oh. Okay. Come on. There we go. Nope. May the sewing gods be in my favor. Okay, there we go. I had a different pattern picked out for this tutorial today, but silly me, I waited till the last minute to ask the designer, and I think she's on vacation. So um, rather than do it and get in trouble, well, I don't think she'll. I don't think I'll be in trouble, but still, um, I just wanted to go ahead and do a safe bet. And Georgia said, absolutely, you can. And she said something else, which is in the description. So if you read the description, sorry, guys, there we go. There we go. So if you read the description, you'll actually um, get a good kick. Yeah. <laughs> you would get a kick out of it because I literally told her I was going to put it on there. I was like. Well, you said it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there. Um, so yeah. Let me see if this is big enough scrap. We literally went through my scrap bin and got things for this pattern last time. I don't think this is going to be big enough. It isn't, but I like it. It's so pink. All right, let me go find something that's gonna match this fabric so that's gonna be big enough. So I have to have something like that big. It's this way. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Well, let me come back. Watch out, babies. I'm not going anywhere, Luna. I'm right here, honey. It's okay. I'm trying to see if this one's wide enough. It's a nice neutral. Nope. I want something fun. You guys took all my fun stuff. <laughs> She's literally chewing on my clothes. Oh, hi there. I just pulled my. Sorry, guys, I've got to plug it in so it doesn't go dead on me. Um, plug it in. From the mouth of Luna. Does this go together, guys? Would you do that? I'm debating whether I should just do waterproof canvas for the outside because my vinyl selections are not that great for for um, solids. I'm sad. 
okay, but well you can watch the rerun. But Melissa, do me a favor. Read the descriptions and see what um, Georgia said. Because I literally put it in quotes. <laughs> okay, so I don't think that's going to work. <sighs> I was going to do a live earlier, but then I got sidetracked and uh, that black is not going to work. I've got lots of waterproof canvas prints. All right, well, if all else fails, black is always a winner. So I could do black. Yeah, I could do black on the outside and then this for the um, thing. And I'll see if I have enough, or like long enough pieces to make my hand off. That is very kittens, isn't it? <laughs> it's so kittens. I told her, I said, I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to put it on there. I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm putting it on there. Just, just give me a fair warning. So she's like, yeah, go ahead. All right, perfect. All right, so... These are, this is the vinyl, this is the interior. I will have to interface it, um, but I'm going to kind of get an idea of how big I need it before I interface it so that I can block fuse interfacing it because it just doesn't take as long. And I'll show you guys how I do that. So this is a vinyl. Um, it's not very stretchy, so I'm not going to interface it. But I am going to grab this. So these are the templates that... Um, Georgia. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is the template that she made us. It's like out of MDF, but it, it's the same price as doing cardboard, she said. So it made sense to just do it a little bit more sturdier than cardboard. So I'm just going to take this, line that up. I'm going to actually take it to my rotary cutter because it's much faster. Yeah, you're gonna have to buy it. You have to buy the pattern and you guys will get it. You'll understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let me see something. This is not big enough for that, you know? So yeah, buy the pattern and you'll know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> and that is so kittens. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fudge just a little tiny, 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 tiny bit. Well, hello. How are you doing? My rotary cutter does not want to work on this final. May the odds be in your favor. Today, they are not so far. Okay. <sighs> okay. So I got that one cut out of that. So that's the main body. Now I'm going to cut my circle pieces. You need two circle pieces of the exterior and two for the interior lining. Um, this one I'm just going to hand cut because there's no way that you can really do it with a rotary cutter. So. I think I'm just going to hand cut all of them because it is just not working over there. All right, do I have some scissors over here? No. No, I don't. No, I do. Okay. I have to wiggle my way around. Um... Oh, yeah. These are super cute. So this is going to be my third one. Um, I've learned a lot from the first and second one. 
And now I'm gonna do something just a little different. Going, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm straying from the path. Because why not, right? Yeah, so when I asked Kittens this morning if I could um, do the pattern, she's like, yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, and then she politely texts that message to me. Um, oh, you're using my scissors. These? Are these the ones you were using when you were here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I almost thought about it. Okay, so I'm gonna do my accent pieces out of the handle too. Oh, that'll be cute. All right, guys, let's get her done. I actually had my entire. That's right. <laughs> That's right, BJ. This is going to be found in the bottom of my scrap pile. <laughs> See, they came in handy. Thank you. They've been sitting on that table over there since you left. Concentrating, concentrating, really trying to concentrate. I can barely see the line, but I can see it, but it's kind of hard to see. Oop. All right, those two pieces. All right, so I've got this. I've got this. And got. They do look good. These are like those old fashioned biscuits, man. These are like good and true. So I don't need this one. Let me not make that mistake again. Um, what the bleep was pattern piece number C? I don't remember that one. What was that for? I don't know. Okay. Um, so I need this. This is for this other thing pieces in here side accent pieces and then we are going to need our straps okay i'm trying to see i'm just gonna make get pre made straps it'll just make my life easier Pre-made zip straps, and then I will do these with accent pieces. Okay, so the accent piece here, I'll do out of pink. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna need two of those. I'm sorry if she's knocking into the camera. She's literally right underneath the table that's holding the camera. I just made another dupe made it pair. The weekend are back. Oh, the weekend are back is fun. Luna, no, no. We don't chew on cords, baby. You can get hurt. No, we're not chewing on cords. <sighs> Let's see if she has something in her bag. She can chew on <gasps> your bone. There you go, sugar. It's your bone. That's right. You can chew on your bone. I haven't tried the weekend or bag yet. I need to try that one. And BJ, the one that's already cut and everything for me, 
is the Mr. Heckle. I'll get to it. I'll get to it, whether it's a live or just sewing it up and then showing you guys. Because it is epic. It's using um, all of the, like pretty much all the prints from the Enchanted box and the hardware and everything. So I just can't wait. Cannot wait to do that. For the D-rings. Oh, that's right. For the D rings. Okay, so this is going to go over and the D ring is going to stick out. So, because I'm doing this out of this color, I'm going to do the D rings out of this. Thank you so much, BJ. I, w I don't know what to do without you. <laughs> I'll be messing something up. That's what I do. Okay. Do I have a little piece of scrap that I kind of... No. Oh, maybe. Over here. Aha! See? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. If you don't know what it is, I can't help you. Because you know me and my little things all the time. Yeah? Yeah? Oh goodness. I do it in my classes too, in my live classes. Like I'll say stuff and I'm like, what's that from? It doesn't always have to be Disney. It could be something else. Oh yeah, you love the front pocket and stuff. I really like it. I can't wait to see it in Enchanted Box fabric. Yeah, I know. It's going to be Epic, 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 epic. I still have lots of boxes left, guys, so share the link with your friends. I don't know why this box isn't doing as well as the other two boxes, because the other one's like literally flew off the shelf. But this one did it, and this one is the one I put the most time into. Um, so it just goes to show you, you know? I guess my impulse of just fly by the seat of my pants kind of thing is better than planning for almost a year. Because I literally had like matching hardware, all of it had to be like made at the same time so that it would be all the same gold. So, yeah. Okay, so I got those two pieces. I'm trying to see if you guys can see the camera moving because she's like, she's down there just chewing right next to it. So, all right. Okay, so I've got that done. Let me think. Webbing. It would be great if I actually had the pattern in front of me. But it's okay. You guys can see the classroom behind me. All right, so I'm trying to think how much was the, how much, how long would it go in? What are these things? I'm trying to think of like how long they were. I think it was. Fifty-three inches. Thank you. See, that's why BJ is like my favorite person ever. <laughs> Forty-six. Fifty-six. Okay. See. BJ, you get a gold star. I think you like memorize all these patterns, right? Or did you just pull it up? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you memorize them though because you, you do make a lot of bags. And they are amazing. Okay, I know I'm doing something different. I get it. I know. I know. Uh, because we're having to do the whole um, bottom thing anyway, I'm going to... No, Luna! No. Um, I'm just going to do them as two pieces and do the overlay. 
So instead of having to wrap around. Okay. Luna, baby. Good girl. Good girl. All right, so now I've got to get my interior pockets. Faces. I have been holding this fabric, guys. I have not wanted to get cut into it. So whoever gets this bag. That's all I got to say. But it's directional. Hmm. Do you see my brain working? I'm trying to think if I do a center seam that I can, one, it'll make it easier to top stitch. Two, it'll go the same direction. So, yeah. Okay, I'll have that for the seam allowance. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. See? That's why I have you guys around because you guys just are just like so helpful. And I'm just cutting this bigger all around just so that when I do my interfacing, it doesn't mess anything up. Yup. I overcut by like a half inch all the way around just in case the fabric shrinks or anything like that. Um, I don't mess up the pattern piece itself. All right, so then now I did that. And if I'm gonna do a little pocket, I'm gonna use something else. <laughs> yeah, I can't use that for a pocket. I can't. I can't use that for a pocket. There we go. I've got this cut out already, so that, that can be a pocket. All right, so this, oh, am I need to circle pieces. There we go. Circle pieces. Okay. This one. Circle pieces, loose pieces, because I gotta go iron those. So I wanna do like a little accent at the top. Ooh. I'm trying to think how I can incorporate this. Thanks. Okay, so I think that with this here, I can I don't know. I'm not gonna to go too crazy right now. Okay, so I've got that, I've got that I've got pieces of interfacing. Oh yeah, that's big enough. That's big enough for both of these pieces. Not really. But it's big enough for those okay i keep my scrap interfacing you just never know when you're going to need them because i'm crazy like that i'm crazy like that i've got to order more sofus plus i have none left i have no sofus plus left i'm so upset i let myself run out not good. So now I gotta go with 80, 80, 809. 
808, 809, something like that. Okay. If you guys have seen me in action, you know this is exactly how I work. What is it, my love? Okay. All right, I'm going for the iron right now. Luna, entertain them. What are you going to do, Luna? You're going to dance on your feet. Elton John, it's something John. We're just ordinary people. I don't, I forget, I don't know. It's not Elton John, it's something John. John something. Don't forget to cut your vinyl strip for the bottom of the cover. Yes, thank you, BJ, you are awesome. Um, I'm trying to remember what that person's name is. It's not Elton John, it's something, John Legend. Ah, there we go. I got really excited there, sorry. Um, yes, John Legend. Yeah, I had it down here. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. Is that right? I'm making sure I've got this right. This pattern is really not hard to cut out. It is so easy to cut out. It's just me because I'm on a live and Luna's a little kooky today. Okay. Careful, baby. Where are you trying to go? Luna, where are you trying to go, baby? Oh, okay, gotcha. Hold on. You're playing with your food bowl. Ugh, keep it over here, sweetheart. And then you won't. 
Good girl. Oh. She was trying to get to her food bowl and couldn't get to it. She was like, Arr. but it wasn't because she's trying to get food. No, it's because she's playing with it. So I got this fabric gosh, almost a year ago. I, and it was an Etsy shop that's no longer uh, up anymore because, you know, a lot of people are just leaving Etsy. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Do that, do that, do that. Oh, I need my circles. Okay, so this is the pieces, and these are circles. I can put both of these together. them at once. I don't know about you, but I'm one of those people who cannot cut sitting down. I don't know. I am kind of strange like that, I guess, because I cannot sit and cut. I have to stand and cut. So the fabric came in for the retreat and I put the teaser of it, sneak peek of it on the um, treat yourself group on Facebook. If you're on the group, that means you've enrolled. If you have, you're not in the group, that means you have not signed up yet. You haven't put your deposit down. So you're not part of the group yet, but as soon as you do, You'll be part of the group. So, Shinova is coming in to teach us the Aries. Um, and um, she's going to teach us the Aries. All right, so she's going to teach us the Aries, and then um, we are going to Tandy Leather for a field trip. We have lots of fun things planned that week. We literally have, um, uh, what's this? Thing? Oh, no, no, baby. <laughs> we have food every day. We've got lots of different things. All right, so let me cut the bottom strip. So the bottom strip has to be this width but it could be as long or as short as you want it to be. So I'm going to make it a little chunky, a little chunky monkey. I don't know who that was driving by like they're stalking somebody. So this is gonna be my, uh, my bottom piece to cover up my strap connections. Uh, what, baby? They're not here. She gets a little excited. Luna, my love. Who do you see? I don't see anybody. Oh, you're trying to get your bowl again. All right, Luna, you really need to stop, Let me get her. Mm. You gotta behave, okay? All right? Unlock the doors for me. You can come in. There you go. Please. All right. I got a package. 
Amazon Fulfillment Center. I think it's the fabric that I need for the, um, what you call it? The fabric for Um, oh, the quilt I'm doing. For the quilt I'm doing. So these are all my pieces. Straps, connectors, everything. Tape. All right, so now I'm just trying to get everything organized so that I can start sewing. Don't need my lighter anymore. I don't need that anymore. I may need this later, but I've got tools there. What are you doing, sugar? You okay? I've got my two pieces of binding, well, fold over elastic for the binding because this gets bound. Hey, hey, no ma'am. Luna, stop. You've got your bone right there, sweetheart. You can either do that or you could go in the crate, honey. All right, let's get started. Let's put you guys in to see what I am doing. Okay, hopefully that works out really well. The panel down there now that she's not right under my feet. Oh, that's good. That's a good angle. Take my shoes off. Yes, I am a barefoot sewing mama. Alright, so I think I'm going to do the Eventually, I'm getting the zipper. Um, Luna, don't do that, sweetheart. No. No, babies. We're not biting the chair. You've got to do something else, sweetheart. No biting the chair. Come on. Come on. You can't bite the chair, Sierra, Luna. Oh, my goodness. I look over Sierra. Did you guys see that? Did you hear that? Oh, okay. My little box of hardware for me to go through so I can see what kind of zipper I want and so on and so forth. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with mm, I think I'm gonna go with silver today. Yeah, I think silver. Oh, I like this black too. So I think I'll do that one and then I'm gonna go white with black zipper tape. Get in there. What I do is I have pre little kits already kind of like put into one of these things. So whenever I'm looking for something, I can get like, just grab one of these. It usually comes with everything that I need for at least one pattern, if not more. So there I go. And I'm gonna cut my zipper tape to be longer than I need. Well, not too much longer actually, because I'm actually putting zipper tabs at the end. So, There we go. Yes. And I'm putting zipper tabs on mine. So that's another thing I'm doing different from the pattern. I am adding zipper tabs and cutting my lining to, to, because it's directional. And two, I'm adding a little pocket. Because who doesn't like a little packet and a little bag? Like, really? Who doesn't like that? Could be for one of Kitten's dolls. <laughs> Let me see. I think 
I already have some of them in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so pretty. Decisions are so hard, people. Why do I have to make decisions? Why? in front of me that I can work with. I feel like I'm a, I'm a hot mess. If my husband's watching this, he's probably like, yeah, you are. You shouldn't have slept in. You should have gotten to see the studio earlier. You got this stuff ready. <laughs> what about maybe putting the pocket on each side of the room? inside huh well I'm gonna you mean like on the inside of the little circle pockets oh that might be good that's creative I think I might do that I think I'm gonna steal that one don't put the zipper on until after well I'm putting zipper tabs BJ, I'm gonna put zipper tabs on mine. So I kind of have to do my zipper now. Because I'm changing things up. Because obviously I need a challenge. Not really, but. Nope, that's off. Okay, zipper peoples. Oh, one of these days. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm holding my zipper and I'm pushing it together so that the, the teeth meet up here evenly so that it goes on evenly. Okay, so I'm gonna need to cut zipper tabs. When I knew I had a little piece of something, oh, there we go, right there. Nothing too fancy. See, and I thought I needed my pen. Good morning. Hey, Jaded, how are you doing? How are things in uh, Hawaii? I am flying by the seat of my pants today. When am I not making this? No, ma'am. No, no, no cords. Luna. <sighs> this girl is going to get electrocuted one day, and I feel so bad. But I don't know what else to do. She's dug up the backyard like crazy, and her dad is, uh, what you call it? I'm doing good. Weather here is kind of funny, but when is it not? Um, we go through all four seasons in one day. Um, so let me... I'm not gonna need that for a little bit. Put that over there. I'm gonna hang this right here. I'm gonna put those down there. These down here. Okay, all these pieces right over there for right now because I just can't. I can't. Well, only one I'm gonna need right now is this one. Okay, so. Let's see what we got here. Let's go up and then down. I think that's better. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm trying to make this short enough that it'll just kind of like not, it'll get in the seam, but not completely, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. doing good. Luna is keeping me on my toes as usual. Right, love? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Well, I don't know if it's old fashioned or not, but, um, Yeah, I don't know if it's old fashioned or not, but I have to do this with this little start and stop button instead of my actual foot because somebody decided that they want to chew on stuff. So I may need to slow it down a little bit. Yeah, they're gonna go into the main of the body. They're gonna go into the side. That's crooked and it's gonna drive me crazy. So, <sighs> seam ripper it is. I know this is not really a seam ripper, but it'll do. I think it shifted when I was doing the back stitch. Close it. Okay. The zipper goes on the short ends. Oh, <gasps> that's right. See, that's why you're so darn smart because So Estrella, let me tell you something, honey. You have got to just say it. If you're wondering something, just ask because I am, I am known to be like, what is she doing? And then it's like, uh, it's not supposed to be that way. And I'm like, oh, it's not? <laughs> and I've made this three times. This is my third time making it, so. So I guess it's a good thing that I didn't um, stitch it on right the first time. That's gonna make me crazy. Not I will get my snips.
she has settled underneath my feet. So I really can't put my foot, foot pedal down there now because if I put it down there, she's gonna go for it. Okay, I put that on the right side. Okay, good. I was, I was scared there for a second that I put it on the wrong side. And you know what else I realized? I need to put my straps on this before I put my zipper on, right? Yeah? Possibly. That top stitching came out pretty nice. Not too shabby. Like that. Hi, Io. You know, I'm still waiting for my email to tell me when you're coming in to do your private lesson that you won. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> It could be a tele one too, by the way. It doesn't have to be in person. I know in person would probably be like more beneficial for you, but I know you are in the DC area and it's not convenient. Bro, I never got the notification that you started. Bro, what do I tell you about calling me bro? <laughs> That's too funny. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Because I told you what time I was coming on. Why are you guys waiting for notification? I tell you personally when I'm coming on, Monica. Are my boys watching me? Okay, so there we go. Okay, so right there, right there. Okay, and so then here and here. Okay, so I gotta tell Fierce that when she does her stuff, she needs to make holes here, so that way I can put my pencil in there. Nope, just today. Just my today? Oh, just me today. Trying to rock the Linux to sleep with no. Oh, good luck with that. That boy is uh, fiercely attached to that thing. <laughs> you know it's true. Okay. Now I'm a little paranoid that this is not the, the center for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because there's a fold in the vinyl. And the fold is like throwing me off. So now I have to double check. Yeah, usually about 2 or 3 o'clock is his, it's his nap time, girl. When, you, when he's here, he's like... So... There you go. Okay. Okay, so it is the middle. Okay, good. Okay, good. Oh, well, that's not straight. Okay, so I did not put any tape 
over here on this part here because that's where I'm gonna put the overlay on. You need some peace. Peace and collard greens. All right, so let me see here. Let me... Sorry, guys. I need to put this in front of me so I can see what I'm doing because I can't see. I want to make sure that this is the right same distance. Yeah, you need to put them back on a schedule. You're the one that's running around like a mad woman. Yeah, I said it. Patty, how are you? Great, I hope, or at least a pretty decent day. a date with the hubbies Ooh. is it a lunch date or are you in a different time zone because <laughs> i love it i think the hubbies and i need to go on a date There's that. And then she said something about stretching something. I don't know what she said. I'm sewing up the temptress. The front exterior pocket is pretty cool. Oh yeah, it is pretty cool. Okay, so BJ, I'm just stretching this a little bit, she said. And then letting it kind of like I don't know. Okay, so now now I'm going to measure how far up my straps go. really have to have something to mark this with that's not permanent. Together. 
I thought I had a pencil and I just cannot find it because I am a hot mess. But that'll just have to do. Does it pull the vinyl? Yeah, I pulled the vinyl. I didn't do anything though. Like, I went like this. Nothing's happening. Yeah, there's, there's nothing, so give it a little slack. Like in between here? Okay, so I'm just gonna, okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna lay this down just like that and just like that, like normal, right? And then I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna pull just a little bit in and then clip it because in that way, I am giving it a little bit of slack because there's no tape up here. Well, I thought there wasn't. Well, I didn't have an issue with mine either the first time, but Possibly, impossible. trying to do something that kind of was like girly bit fun you know just go straight down this this side right I'm giving it a little bit of slack right there, so. I'm kind of eyeballing this at this point. Oh, that was spot on. may have gotten one stitch too much, but that's okay. Oh, come on. Don't be acting up.
You're probably thinking like, what is she doing, right? Well, I don't have an actual thread stand for mine. I think so I'm trying to just give it a little bit of tension at the front so it doesn't loop. find the hardest thing to teach people about sewing is have to have them kind of like I don't know like stop pulling on the fabric <laughs> like that's the hardest thing because they they think that they have to um, like push the fabric through and stuff and I'm telling them no you don't have to do that you're just steering you know, when you're driving a car, you're not doing, you know, the Flintstones and pedaling it. So it's the same thing with a sewing machine. You're just, you're just steering it. You're guiding it. You're not doing, you're not pushing it through. You're not doing anything like that. thing I, that, that I find to actually teach because it's kind of hard to, to portray that, you know, kind of thing. Because I, I would literally sit right there with them on the same exact fabric that they are on and I would be like, look, look mom, no hands, it's moving. <laughs> and it's still, it's still hard to comprehend sometimes. But, I still enjoy what I do. All right, so there's that. Now I'm gonna get my piece that I'm gonna put for the overlay here and fold in the raw edges. What measurement is this? I don't know, just think it's something that's gonna look good. So right now this is three eighths. This piece here is I guess like eight and a quarter or eight something. It's the same as the zipper portion. I don't know what to say. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna get my tape. I'm actually gonna use my quarter, my eighth of an inch instead of quarter of an inch. You guys are gonna need to start like telling me when it's close time to like stop at four because If I would have had everything cut out ahead of time, I would have been fine, but I didn't because I had to change the pattern. And then I had a killer headache and needed to sleep. So I slept more. I had to listen to my body. I don't know what it was about last night, but I couldn't go to bed till like four in the morning. Like I kind of dozed off. Um, thank you, Estrella. I kind of dozed off a little bit, about 12, but then I woke up again, like 30 minutes later or so. I mean, it was probably like 11.30 then. Probably woke up about one. And I was like, what is going on? I had really bad heartburn, but my nose was all stopped up and everything. So I think that had something to do with it. And then my back was hurting. So... I 
was just thinking, I could have done this on the bag itself instead of me doing this, but that's all right. I, I, I didn't think about that till just now. Okay, sorry. I don't know, maybe it was has something to do with the eclipse. Just had a hard time sleeping. Monica had a hard time sleeping too. Well, at least that's what she told me. <laughs> so we've got that. I'm putting that over this. I'm gonna match up my centers. When I need to just stop, I do. Um, like right now, I'm literally working f five nights a week almost on classes and stuff. Well, four nights. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But I have class from 4.30 to 8.30 every night from Monday through Thursday. And then I have... Um, Sometimes I have the weekend workshops, but those are not really like work. Those are more like play because one, my husband says so. And two, <laughs> and two, because it's just like, um, it's just getting together with people of like-minded, you know, we we all have the same passion and it's always fun to see my sewing peaks in person. Like, even though Georgia's only like 30 minutes from me, we don't see each other that often. Like, rarely. Uh, Monica and I see each other at least once a week. Um, that's just because she has my grandbabies. <laughs> it was funny, because they were here yesterday and they didn't call me grandma once. But then they were also kind of occupied um, with Luna yesterday. They were kind of occupied with Luna. <laughs> it was so crazy because they were like scared of her because she's a big dog. She really is. But she's a puppy and she doesn't do anything other than just trying to lick them. And they will run away from her and then she chased them. And we're like, stop running because she's just going to chase you because she thinks you're playing. So it was like completely counterintuitive for her to run. <laughs> it's like you run and they're still going to get you. All right, so that's that bottom flap piece. All right, so now we are going to do our zipper. Yeah. No, not zipper yet. I'm gonna do my pocket for my inside piece. So, here's what I'm thinking. If I do a pocket over here, it's gonna be really hard to get into because it's a zipper tab. So I think I'm gonna have to just do one like right here. Yeah. And it's literally gonna be a tiny little thing. It's not gonna be really big. It's just more for decorative purposes. Just to be like, ooh, I have something in there. Um, that one's for that, and I had cut another one. <laughs> Perfect. See, I knew I needed it for something. Um, another rubber, getting back together. I have been. I watched the um, Eris tour. On um, Disney. Oh, 
It's so good. I am um, a fan of Taylor, right? But the last concert, love the fabrics. Love that fabric. Is it? No, it's not in my shop. I don't know who it is. It's from um, an, uh, an Etsy person that I had gotten it from like a, a year ago. And she is no longer, her shop is gone. Like I've gone through my search, I've gone through my purchase history just to see if I can order some more because these are like fat quarters that I bought from her. They were like um, a fat quarter bundle of like different, um, phantom kind of ones because I had this one I have a Harry Potter one I have um, uh, Freddy Krueger and all that stuff like the uh, excuse me the um, Halloween people and because I was thinking oh that would be great right so one of them one of the fat quarters is going to Tory in Australia and then the other ones I'm using here and there. But I wish I could find her again because it's so cute. was talking to me about that that we have to like put our heads together for something for May the 4th and I'm like I don't know it's all of them Patty it's all of them it's um it's it's Freddie it's Jason it's it's all of them here, I'll show it to you. Hold on. It's literally right here. Like, I have the pile of stuff that I'm mailing her. Right here. So, I don't know if she already has something like that or not, but I like it. Freddy, Jason, Scary Face. Yeah. Michael Myers. Different poses. Something different. You know she's going to love it. You found me by watching her video. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah, she and I talk like almost on a daily basis. I think I talk to Tori more than I talk to even people here locally. Like, yeah, I talk to Monica, but I talk to, I talk to, I talk to Tori just about every day and um, Shinova, my friend Shinova. Shinova, oh, Jesus help me, Shinova, and then, um, but yeah, but Tori and I will listen, like, go back and forth for hours. All right, let me go iron this real fast. I know, isn't it cool? She, she's gonna love it. <laughs> I'm scheming.
and I don't have any like zipper pulls. Oh yes, it never comes too early for me. I'm working at that time. Oh yeah, she has her captain's log at 8.30. Well, I usually have Bible study too, um, normally that time, so I um, usually can't get on for, I'll be, I'll, I'll catch the replay pretty much. Sometimes I'm able to actually catch her live. Last couple of days I've been able to catch her live. too short look at that just a oh, tiny 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 bit too short <sighs> it's all right No, BJ said she's working on one of Tori's patterns right now. The temptress, I think she said, right? With the front pocket. So she had the competition last month, right? For March. Yeah, March, right? Because we're in April now. And she, um, <laughs> it was so funny because um, I, I didn't have either one of those patterns. So I was like, okay, let me go buy the pattern and you know participate and see which one I want to do and so she texts me like five minutes within with, with within me buying the pattern asking me why am I buying the pa why am I buying patterns <laughs> I was like because I want to participate in the in the uh contest and she's like woman <laughs> just like you don't buy my patterns i give you my patterns i was like uh no and you don't tell me what to do like yesterday during her live when she was live and it was like a, it was close to this time of the day i guess it was maybe a little bit later and um she was on live and she's like and sandra don't you dare um oh yeah i think i know where that star wars fabric came from I did an image search and let me know if you liked the shop name here. Oh, yes, please, Estrella. Please. I love to support other shops. Absolutely. I can't be the only one coming out with nice fabrics. <laughs> can't be the only one. Slackers. I'm kidding, by the way. You know, I'm, nobody's a slacker. But um, So I was telling her, you don't tell me what to do pretty much what I told her and she's like huh okay no problem <laughs> she got off her alive and she's like don't you do I'm like I'm not gonna do it but you still can't tell me what to do I'm not gonna buy a stitch tumbler but you still can't tell me what to do it was funny I, I want to get this a little bit closer like a little bit there oh some people are fussy about I'm not fussy about that I like to share I like to share I like to share yeah it was so funny because I really want to make, I'm like, I know, make it for me. I don't care. I'm just telling you. You still don't tell me what to do. But we've established this already. <laughs> Fussy cut fabrics. Her famous words, I'm not the boss of you. Exactly. Hi, Shanova. Your ears must have been ringing, sweetheart, because I was talking about you. I'm sorry, Luna. Um... It's her famous word. She's always saying, I'm not the boss of you. So I just tell her, you're not the boss of me. You can't tell me what to do. 
I can buy the pattern if I want to. And if I want to pay you for designing a pattern, then I'm going to pay you. So shut up and take my money. That's what I tell her. be a bound bag. I'm just doing this zipper just for purely for aesthetics mostly. So it's not for anything other than it's pretty. I just wanted to sneak you something in there. on this machine, Shinova, with the little start and stop button <laughs> because Luna continues to try to eat all the wires. So this is what I have to do. This is what I have to sort of to do because she... I'm so confused right now. Oh, it doesn't, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, yeah. I gotta go back to there. For some reason, it wasn't catching in. That's okay. I'll catch that in a second. So I can't put my foot pedal down because she wants to eat everything. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. And that's the only bad part is that sometimes I can't control how it takes things because like me doing that. Very hairy little thing. Oop. I think my nails are too long cut them back or something. <sighs> Snippy snip snips everywhere. Hold my tails, guys. Hold your tails. It's not liking going through that zipper. But I can't do anything different because somebody wants to eat everything. She's asleep right now. And I'm afraid to put the pedal down at the floor because if I do, she might wake up and start chewing on it again. And she's actually content right now, so I'd rather have it that way. stop but I can't I don't I don't know what to say
zipper pocket. Done. All right, so now, excuse me. <laughs> now I'm going to start doing my zipper sandwich. So closing to the left. You like my zipper tabs, Shinova? I messaged Shinova this morning, like, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was like, my plan for the live is, is not working out because I'm a procrastinator and asked last minute and I think she's on vacation. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need to do something small but fast because I'm gonna have to cut it out you know, all at once and stuff. And she's the one who suggested this one. I was like, oh, that's right. Make the doufflé. Buy the pattern. It's on the um, description box. And um, if you haven't already done so, Patty, Anastrea, whoever, BJ, everybody, go ahead and read the description. I think it's a second paragraph where I added what she said. It is hilarious. I sent it to Shinova this morning when she, uh, as soon as she said it to me, I was like, this is funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send this to her. Oh, uh, read the description if you haven't already. The second paragraph of the description for this video. You are going to love it. I laughed. I was like, this is so, this is so Georgia. Okay. Okay. I want it to be the back, so I'm gonna put this one in the front. I thought it was hilarious. I like busted out laughing. I was like, yeah, you're so stupid. <laughs> oh, shoot. It is just like her. Who else picks things up with their feet? Anybody else? Hey, sugar. Yeah, I do. You would think that someone as short as I am who... Yeah, she is a hoot. A hoot, a hoot, a hoot. Yeah, her seam ripping videos are hilarious. So I usually don't get influenced by many people to buy things, but I got the um, auto heat press just because I have one of those clamshell ones that go up and down and I'm so short that it's really hard um, if it's on any type of a surface at all for me to really do that safely. Um, 
So I got that, but her scene ripping videos are hilarious. It was kind of interesting how um, she and I actually started talking because I was on one of her charity videos that she does um, and I donated and she's like, oh, thank you. And then she's like, Oh, you know, she was saying thank you all, so da, 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 right? And then my friend Monica, who is um, maybe still listening, I don't know, but um, Monica was on with her on a different live, and I was there too. And she's like, and Monica's like, that's the girl I was telling you about. She has a shop right here in Raleigh, and um, and I go there and I buy my stuff there. And, and then she's like, oh, really? Like, seriously? Like, like a brick and mortar, like, right here? Like, you can buy stuff? I was like, yeah. And she's like, oh, that was... You shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Hi, Wendy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I am... I am... I tell people this all the time and they think I'm kidding, but I'm really not. Um, I am technically considered a little person because I am four foot nine. I used to be four foot nine and a half, but now I'm not half anymore. Okay, so this foot is actually very good too because I don't have a Teflon foot and it is still gliding right past and making beautiful stitches. Oopsie. So I had the wonderful challenge of directional fabric, so that's what I'm working with now. But it's going to make it easier to actually top stitch everything. Did you see me? I almost goofed. <laughs> when do I not almost goof though? Right, BJ? Like, that's a daily occurrence over here. So now I'm putting the top piece on. And this is going good. Yeah, so that's the story how George and I met. When she and I... You made another Mr. Heckles. Harris Tweed. That is so awesome. Oh. I will get to mine. I will get to it. And it's going to have the um, Enchanted Rose fabric from the Bell Box. Well, I'm sorry, the Beast Box. Because I'm using the vinyl and the suede. So, not sure if you guys know, but... The Barbie print is back in stock. It was out of stock for like two weeks. And now it's back in stock. Because I quickly ordered more when two lives ago, I think it was like two lives ago when my assistant came in and was like, yeah, we just sold out of that. <laughs> Time check, 15 minute morning. Ugh. Thanks, BJ. Thanks. Just when I'm having fun. The street lights come on and I gotta go home.
psych. I never had to do that. Tickle that like button, smash the notification bell. I love that, Shinova. Tickle that like button. <laughs> I'm gonna tickle it. <laughs> you guys. Um, it's funny. Um, not you, Shinova. What went through my mind is funny. And I'm sure it's not PG-13 or PG whatever. I know this thing says it's not for children, but my kids do watch my videos. So they know how wacky I am anyway, but you know, just in case. All right. So, this one's gonna get over here, and this one's gonna go over there. And you guys are ready for this magical thing of top stitching this bad boy. Yeah, I just wrapped it around this little thing here, and it's doing the same thing. But yeah, the cup just holds it from it like. It just makes it so that it doesn't spin, but yeah. I don't think that's gonna make any difference though, if I do it through the arm because, yeah, it's not. All right, so we are going to do this, and then this, and then we're going to go blah, blah, blah. See, for all this, I could have put a seam in the middle, right here, because I covered it anyway. Hi, Miss Tanya. You ready to see me struggle? I'm like gonna be the one-armed bandit over here. Definitely very interesting with um, using this, this the automatic moving thing. Get out of the way. Ugh, people. Take a couple of stitches, go straight, and then stop. No! Biscuit eater. Open the zipper and sew through it. Shinova, my love, you know I am technically challenged, so please explain yourself. Because <laughs> the zipper is open. saying oh. okay I get it I get it you have explained yourself I just was not thinking ha oh. I know the stop and start buttons are not nice because they they are going either faster or too slow or whatever. <sighs> and see, and it shifted on me, so now I have to take the stitches out because it shifted. 
and it's a top stitch so I can't leave it like that because I want to sell the bag <sighs> because Georgia is my handler and she needs her stuff <laughs> read the description that's all I gotta say That's all I can say. Read the description. It will all come clear. And for those who have read the description, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't even know if Georgia actually watches any of my stuff, but that would be funny. <laughs> I'm calling her my handler. <laughs> Snippy with me. I know you guys are like all like okay so I had it but then I for I I don't know what I'm doing anymore it's okay I've got like a five minute warning at this point. my mouth just the right way. I'm gonna stick my tongue out, cross my feet, hold my mouth a certain kind of way. Alright. Don't breathe. Now how do I get it out? Like that. Ah, <laughs> chimney cricket. Doesn't look the best on the inside, but ain't nobody saying that. Okay. Turn it right side out so we can see what we're looking like. Okay. I thought I wasn't birthing a bag. Oh, this is like a C section slash birthing? No problem. I got this. Oh, that is looking super cute. Oh my god, my baby.
That is so cute. Definitely the lining is going to be a little bit overlapped, like a lot overlapped. Hi, dear. Very late, but I made it. Yeah, you've got four minutes left, Grandma. Like, really? What were you doing? Taking Junior to the pool? <laughs> mm. I love you. did make it just in time. But this time, this bag is not for you, Grandma. Not your bag. This bag I have to sell. It doesn't like the backstage with the auto thing. Stop it. I hit the button. Yes, and getting a late lunch. Oh, okay. Getting a late lunch. What are you guys getting for lunch? Let me guess. Cookout. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Okay, good. Just trying to make sure it fits really well before I cut it off. Because once I cut it off, I can't kick it back. I know you love the one I made you. Guys, I literally walk, walked in the door with it and she's like, thank you. <laughs> Cause she was at the house. I know she wasn't at the house. D um, Dwight brought it to you, right? Cause I, I stayed home cause I was sick. I started acting up again last night, but I was like, no. Took some Mucinex and some day quilt, um, night quilt and knocked it out. But not today. Not today. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm just gonna clip these together because I seriously doubt I'm gonna be able to actually like get this thing done on the live today. But that's like part of the course, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I, it's four o'clock on the dot. The street lights have come on, and it's time for me to take my toys and go home. I have to do this thing called adulting. How made lasagna? Oh, Jesus. You're killing me. I can't have lasagna, not the regular lasagna. It's got too much cheese and yumminess and beef in it. I can't. Okay. 
I'm gonna sneak in just five more minutes. Five more minutes, Dad. Five more minutes, I promise. I'll be in in five minutes. 10 minutes go by. <laughs> oh goodness. This is not wanting to rotate. Slow down a little bit. Okay, come on. It's just too slow. Oh, you're killing me. It's like it goes one speed or the other. It's possessed. It's like it's possessed. Like I move it just an ink leak tiny little bit and it's like slow it down and it goes like a turtle and then it goes like a hare it doesn't want to make up its mind really it's home stretch from here Was singing to Luna earlier and my husband called me while I was in the middle of a lyric and I just kept singing and he's like what was that I was like yep, singing to Luna and you called me <laughs> he was telling me that we had some some of the um, tortellini pasta that I really like in the freezer so I cooked it up for lunch and then I'll have it for dinner come on now um, I'll have it for dinner later. So I had some for lunch and then I'll have a little bit more for dinner. It's all in portion control, people. Oh, yeah, it's not wanting to. There we go. I messed up the trajectory of this, of the spool of the thread with, um, the way it was. And you know, technically, I can like almost stop using the pink as a top thread because um, I'm almost done with my top stitching, like look where the stitches are actually going to be seen. So let me put that aside so I can do my D-ring connector real fast. BJ, I love, 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 love the um, the clips you gave me. I love them so much that I don't know where I put them. They're somewhere on my table, but I love it. Dad, that clock is wrong. It's not 4.05 yet. That, it's, it's a little fast. I still have like two minutes left.
<laughs> oh, you guys, you're so awesome. You get my sense of humor. Yeah, you're gonna have to share the link with me for that so I can get some more for the classroom. Because I'm sure everybody would really like this. Have you done any more unpacking or do you need to come up and help you unpack? Uh, yeah, I need help. Uh, I need as many people as I can get to help. So Monica was here yesterday and she was supposed to help me unpack, but my children, my grandbabies, um, have different, has something else in mind. You know what they had in mind? Running away from Luna all day and, and therefore, creating havoc because the poor things would start running away from her and she would chase them because she's like oh we're playing a game right and then um and then um goodness what am i saying um and then a little lovely they would fall to the floor laughing not laughing, but crying and being like, oh, she's getting me. And then <sighs> she's trying to get to them to soothe them because they're crying. And it was just an endless circle. Yeah, they're in various colors, but they also have like a coating on them. So it's kind of like a rubber coating on it. So it, they don't like slip. So they're like extra cool, not like just colorful, but but functional too, because it's got like like grippy stuff, almost like silicone, I think. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna get grounded after this, because there goes another five minutes. <laughs> You're probably thinking to yourself, who is going to ground you? Me. <laughs> yeah, I got to feel like an unpacking party and people can come and help me unpack. And then the stuff that I just don't need anymore be like, take it. Take it. I don't need it. I haven't used it in I don't know how long. I don't need it. Bye. Bye. Just like that. Right, Grandma? Yep. Just like that. I didn't do this whole folding thing on the last two that I did. And it wasn't like completely bad looking because it's vinyl, but I can I can see where it could have been finished off a little bit better. What I really need to do is see if I can 
<laughs> so close. Um, so close, but yet so far. I really need to um, get up with the people for the class and oh, just a little bit more and um, t talk to them about moving their time from 4.30 to like 5.30 or something because um, it'll just make things a lot easier for everybody. I think the parents would probably like it too. They're not having to rush in here. <sighs> I'm sorry, Grandma, what, am I, what are you agreeing to? <laughs> Give me a call and we'll decide what day works best. Yeah. That'll be good. Because the sooner I am back, the, the, the quicker I can get things moving towards. Um, I was telling um, words words. I was telling Monica that I, um, I'm just going to mark these. I'm not going to sew anymore. I'm just marking. Putting those in there. Turning off my machine. Walking away. And I can talk to you guys real fast. Hi. Hi. Um, I was telling Monica that I could mm, words again. Um, that I want to start a membership for the studio and that the membership will include open studio times for us. I don't know what kind of a fee yet. I have to, just, I have to just figure that out. Cause I don't want, I, I want to be fair, but at the same time, I need to be able to have another source of income to help with the overhead costs of everything. Um, so I was thinking like 50 bucks a month or something like that for open studio while I'm here. So Monday through Thursday, um, 12 to 8, you know, um, and then they can set up because we have a whole nother section that they can set up and use cutting tables. So use different things. Um, now that I have the heat press, they can do the heat press. They can use the Cricut. They can, you know, if they want to cut out a pattern on CSV jack files or whatever, they can do that. If, even if they don't have a cricket, you know, different things like that. Like, you know, like pretty much like using everything that we have here um, for their benefit as well. So I was like, okay, that would be cool. And then those who pay a higher premium, like a platinum package kind of thing, will get like access and codes for the alarm. So they have their own individual code for the alarm and they have a key to get in. Um, and then they could use it even when I'm not here. Now, I still have to go through all the logistics, obviously. There's there's a lot of logistics, but um, I just wanna make sure that I do something that's good for more, you know, just it's good for the community as well. Cause there's a lot of people who like to do things and they don't wanna that I'm grounding myself. Yes, that's right. That's great, Grandma. Um, it's not showing up. <sighs> yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do. I know everybody wishes they lived closer to me. I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm awesome. So I'm not sewing anymore right now. I'm just doing my marks to know where I'm putting my straps and stuff. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is just so that when I do finish it on the live, hopefully a little bit later today, but not too late, because I have to get home, um, that I could whip it up really fast and just be done in like 30 minutes. 
yeah, like I've ever finished anything in 30 minutes. <laughs> Okay, bam, bam, bam. All right, so I'm gonna put my arrow this way to know that that's up. And I'm looking for my marks and this is up. And that matters because you wanna have the thing higher up rather than lower according to the pattern piece. I'm not just making it up. It says it on the pattern. I don't know what to tell you. The pattern tells you how to do it. Mm. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna keep all my pieces together and I'm not, we're, this is gonna be a bound bag, but um, this is gonna be so cute. Look, it's, it's baby Yoda. He's so cute. It's little baby Yoda. <laughs> this one didn't come out as well as Fussy Cut, but this one turned out really cute. Um, yeah, but because we're going to be putting, stitching that on and then riveting it, we don't want to do it through the lining fabric because we want it to look pretty. So that's why we're going to do that in two separate steps at the end. So if you don't come back for the finishing of the live, at least you know what we do next. You do your strap connectors, you just stitch them on really fast put the overlay over it so it covers it up um you put a rivet through it if you would like to and then uh, you put both of these pieces together and you bind your edges and you're done just like that so um if i get to see you again later on today that'll be awesome if not have a wonderful day have a wonderful week i hope you get to make something magical fantastic whether it's sewing related or not um get crafty do something and um nope nope people are coming i've gotta go <laughs> oh before i leave look at my ring isn't it cute so it says garner sewing i got that made for myself for, for my birthday <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for tuning in and sticking with me today i really appreciate it i appreciate all of your love and support and i will catch you later Right, Luna? Yeah. Hey, babies. We're gonna go bye bye. It'll be after 8 o'clock. So, about 8 15.